Welcome back to Chatter on the Wire. Let's see what trouble I got myself into this week. Okay, new device just came in. This won't be the first unboxing of anything like this on YouTube, but let's see, give a little more light. But $16, $17, I guess, with tax. A little uh, Raspberry Pi type clone. And actually did come with a case, which is what I'd seen on other videos too, which was kind of surprising, especially for the amount of money they gave or only charged for this thing. Let's see. And power supply. So not much just in the box. Okay, this is the second time doing this. Uh, I picked up a Recon Sentinel Essential a while back. Um, initially, they were dirt cheap on Amazon. I think six, seven bucks. They went up to uh, 12 to 16, and last I saw, they're about 20 bucks. So um, they've continued to go up in price. I've actually already dismantled this, um, but the first time the camera uh, blitzed out uh, due to low battery, I think. And hopefully, I've learned my lesson on this. Um, this was initially recorded months ago, so this is real a bit older at this point in time. There's been a lot of other videos on this, but I think this product's still a decent price for what you get for it, uh, depending on what your plans are. So it does come with power supply, one less price there, um, and it really comes down to what you really want to do with this thing. Uh, this is a one gig model. It does come with USB 3 networking and a couple USB 2 ports and if you're into Arduino type stuff it comes with a little uh, 20 by 2 uh, LCD display and it has the um, adapter piece here these go for about 10 bucks uh, on Amazon right now of course you can get them cheaper if you want to go through eBay other things like that but uh, even at 20 bucks right now if you have a use for this here's $10 savings for you which gets this down to 10 bucks with power supply so not bad overall I highly recommend and this was a mistake I made initially not even thinking about it is um, to make sure you don't have this thing plugged in and powered on before you uh, swap out the SD card that's on there because it does have the Sentinel OS on there which you don't have the password for or anything else I mean these are designed as a security product for it to go online and connect into a third party so um, don't just plug this into your network when you first get it and uh, let it start doing its own internal scanning and uh, shipping information off to some unknown third party that you probably don't have any uh, actual connection with. So we'll take a look at this uh, Rock Chip 64 and as you can see though here it does have uh, the connection for a uh, different hookup here. Has some reset buttons. It's doing a lot better than some of the things that the historic uh, Raspberry Pi are doing. I think it's an EMC, EMC, EMC squared. I don't know. It's been too long. I'll I'll put it in, in over the top on this video here at some point here. Um, one of the problems I did have with this, and we'll talk about that more, uh, is things continue. Is the issue for what OS I could actually get it, uh, to, and what kernel? It was specifically a kernel issue that came up over and over and over. Anyways, enough of that. Let's uh, boot this machine up and take a look at it.
So at the end of the day, if you can uh, still find any of these Sentinels out there, they probably are still worth the 25 bucks. Uh, but I've seen them listed at about 50 on eBay. And on top of that, I've seen them somewhere around 150 on Amazon. So the odds of you finding any of these aren't real high anymore. But if you do find some and you have a use for a device like the Raspberry Pi, um, but yet older, uh, these are probably worth picking up. But make sure you stick with kernel 4.4. Uh, I had personally had no luck at all with the 5.8. Um, every time I tried to use that, the uh, HDMI just completely failed to load. Now, if all you're going to do is use these headless, then it's probably not a big issue. But if you do need HDMI on them, make sure you stick to the 4.4 kernel.